O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Today, folks, was Dave White's birthday. So we want to say happy birthday, Dave. We miss you. We loved you. And uh, it had to be pretty wild having your birthday on Leap Year, man. Yeah. Tell you, folks, you got to enjoy every day, man, because like, just like that, poor Dave went crazy. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and they're personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 8, NASDAQ up 90, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold contract up $10.90, trading at 2053 an ounce. We have silver up 23 cents, $22.87 an ounce. Late sweet crude down 49 cents, $78.05 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up four ticks, trading 109.30. The 30 year up 16 ticks at 1908 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 170 ticks, 104, 143. Euro right now, 108. Yen's trading 149. British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, we might as well go right into the futures because what's happening with the futures, folks, is that I expect they're going to run it right into the close again. The reason I'm saying that when I show you this, take a look at this. Okay. So we've had a low today of 5,060, the high of 5,105. Okay. The 5,105, if you see this bar, that's a high volume bar. Bottom line, you get a high volume, Bob wants to get tested. So I suspect we just did a 0.382 from the last low that was generated out here. We did a 0.382, you get an hour to run into the highs. And you got window dressing happening. We go over to the SPY and we take a look at the SPY. We have with the SPY out here. Yeah, it's going to be, we'll have some volume here. You know, you're right next to the high. Uh, bottom line, let's see, that high had. 63 million. You're not going to do 63 million, but we're not at the high yet. Uh, we're going to do probably about 55. You're at 41 right now. I don't think it's going to give it up either. We take a look at the Q's. The Q's got some juice in it today. And you get volume. We already have as much volume as we had yesterday, 33 million. Uh, 31 million, rather. The Q's are up $3 right now. They're going right after that high. Uh, and they're going to have about the same volume as that that high had, you know. So we'll see. I don't think we're going to. No, we're not going to take that high out today. But bottom line is that you're going to. You get a nice setup happening that you can blow it away again, which is pretty wild. Gold. Now what we have is this: that we we have volume on gold and we have price on gold. So we take a look at the gold contract out here. We got an expansion of volume, 212,000 contracts, which we needed. And bottom line, it's taken out this last consolidation. You know, so what we do have, oh, nice. Okay, we'll, we got a small ABC up. Oh, man, I wish I could see. <laughs> I'll, I'll get that number at the break, folks. Okay, what that A to B is. I got to get these screens closer to me, evidently. I got to do something. So what has happened is that my eye that I'm blind in, I'm really blind in now, my left eye. It's, like, it's just pure black. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. Um, but gold wants higher price. Now, that being said, we go over to the dollar, this dollar, man, <laughs> each and every time it tries, tries to go into that lower range. It says, see ya, don't want to be ya. And we take a look at this, and you're going to see it right down to it again today. And it said, nope, I'm not staying there. 103,650. We're trading at 104,137. I think that's intriguing is that the S&Ps are still up. And that's kind of quite a move out there, you know? Notes and bonds, we take a look at the note and bond market, you know, the, the CPI out here this morning, the PCE deflation, uh, deflator market, you know, bottom line, shook it off and said, okay, I like it. Now, the 10-year, this is dicey, man. The 10-year only has 550,000 contracts. That's not good. It's rejected lower price again. 
We hit the 109.16, but that volume's got to go up dramatically, man. I mean, you're talking dramatically. I mean, it's very unusual that the 10 year only does 550,000. Oh, hold it one second. Now I know what's going on. What? Uh, one second. I got to do, I got to do T Y A. That's what I got to do. One second. We're, we must be rolling right now. Let me see this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. T, that's still bringing up T Y M. No, no, I guess we're not. I thought we were rolling. We probably are rolling, though, and I just can't, uh, I'm just not bringing up the right symbol at this particular point. Uh, we take a look at the small caps. Let's go over to the small caps here. Look at these small caps. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's interesting, man. The small caps are actually leading. Look at this. Yeah, these small caps want to bust out, man. You're up a buck twenty. IWM we're looking at right now. We got it at two oh three. Um and you get volume behind the move. This is quite a setup, man. Let me see what else is. They got a long way to go, that's for sure. But this is a decent setup, yeah. Okay, so now the small caps are going to start running. They are. Because what you have here, folks, this is a huge consolidation. Man. This is a consolidation that goes back. What do I get this on? A monthly? Oh, my God. You're talking about years. What year is that? 20. Is that 20? No, 20, 2000. 22. You get a two-year consolidation. You break out a two-year consolidation, man, you are going to have some high numbers coming at you, no doubt. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market out here. Yeah, 54,000 contracts, not bad. Yeah, silver wants higher price. You know, we'll see how that shakes out. That dollar, though, you got to be careful, of, you know, in general. Uh, today is very unique that we do have that dollar rejecting lower price and the S&Ps are still staying strong. I suspect what you have here, though, that, you, you know, we're walking right into window dressing. You know, bottom line, you get the 29th, March, one, two, three, bottom line. The way this market's running, there's going to be a lot of buying. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.